You might be thinking that in order to receive cryptocurrency as payment for your e-commerce store, that you have to be a programmer or you have to hire a programmer. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can accept all the major cryptocurrencies on your e-commerce store without having to program a single line of code. Welcome back, my name is Seth Estrada, and if you're watching this video, you're probably on my YouTube channel, Seth Estrada. And as promised, I'm going to show you how recent news might make it seem as though it's hard to get into accepting cryptocurrency as an e-commerce store owner or selling anything online, but that doesn't have to be the case. And you don't have to track all of your purchases manually, nor do you have to send out payment requests for cryptocurrency on each transaction. But first off, the bad news. <laughs> Last month, Stripe said that even though they were one of the few to support Bitcoin payments, that they pulled out. Now, that's just because Stripe supported Bitcoin only. Stripe did not support other cryptocurrencies. That's why it came out and said the cryptocurrency is still viable. They just took a step away from it because as a merchant payment processor, Stripe needed to focus on what's best for its business. Now, without going into full detail here, this is an article from The Observer where the press release was made. The Stripe representatives talked about how Ethereum is pretty darn cool and that they're keeping their eyes on that. Moving ahead, in TechCrunch, wherever a door closes, a window opens. Stripe pulled out, Coinbase stepped up and created Coinbase, Coinbase. Commerce. And right here, here's a screenshot to show you kind of how Coinbase Commerce looks. And I'll show you hands-on how to use Coinbase Commerce. A good friend of mine wrote an article on, if you're a programmer, how to add webhooks from Coinbase Commerce into your database. But... <laughs> I'm not interested in that. I don't think you are. That's not why you clicked on this video. Let me show you my dashboard right here. I set up Coinbase Commerce and you can do the same thing for free. There are no referral links. It's just commerce.coinbase.com. You can set up your account like that and you can choose which currencies you're willing to take. Now you can accept Bitcoin. I don't think it's the best idea. And here's why. Here's BitInfo charts. And over the last, we'll say six months right here, here are the average transaction fees for the most popular cryptocurrencies and for the four that are accepted by Coinbase Commerce. Bitcoin is, of course, consistently the highest. Right there, that's the $10 mark. And you see how close Bitcoin has come to that $10 mark and how repeatedly it keeps climbing up past that $10 mark up to the $20 mark, $30 mark, and even almost the $60 mark in transfer fees. Now you, you figure if you have an information product that costs $300, who in their right mind would pay an additional $55 in transfer fees? If that were the price to use a credit card, you'd cut up your credit cards, you'd go cash only. So cryptocurrency was supposed to get rid of all this mess. It was supposed to decrease the cost of doing business. But here with Bitcoin, just because of technological progress or the direction of Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining and getting transactions approved, those costs, those fees went up over the last several months. Now, sure, recently it's come back down to a much more manageable three and a half bucks or so. But over the last several days, even, it's it's been volatile, right? The beginning of this month, it was eight dollars, went back up to ten. Again, it's just a bit too much to ask, I think, for most customers. Now, consider maybe in the context of a five hundred or thousand dollar purchase, that's not bad. But you look at this when it went all the way up to $55 and that's still just too much. Even 5%. If you were dinged 5% as a vendor by your merchant fees, you'd get rid of that account and look for something else. So Bitcoin, I don't think is the best option just because of where it's gone recently in terms of transfer fees. Though Ethereum, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash, they've been much more manageable. So a dollar. When Bitcoin hit its peak, Ethereum was at a dollar in transfer fees. Litecoin was under a dollar and Bitcoin Cash was under 50 cents. And that's kind of continued along that trend where Ethereum has more recently gone up to almost five dollars. But Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin have stayed well under a dollar. And now more recently, Ethereum is still at about a buck with the others staying under 50 cents for the majority of that time. So I would say that you want to maintain a little bit of flexibility of thought there and just uh, maybe consider urging your customers to go with Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Now I've read some commentary on how Bitcoin Cash is, it's polluting the cryptocurrency ecosystem and it's confusing people. Uh, I'm sorry, no, no it's not. There are the numbers right there. 
And it's pretty clear why Bitcoin Cash is important and why it matters and why you should consider it if you're going into business and accepting cryptocurrency. Now, right here, I've already whitelisted some domains. If you're jumping into a Coinbase commerce account, you're going to want to do this in order to make sure that these embedded payment portals, that they show up on your domain. And then down here, API key. To create an API key, you simply have to click on Create API Key. And then in order to use it, you'll need to reveal it, copy it, and then we'll paste it later on. Um, that's It's as simple as that. You can create a dedicated payment page without using any third-party e-commerce site if you want to, but you'll have to track all of the payments and try to do the associated inventory separately. So you have to do it all manually and manually batch process everything. So it will not go into an inventory system and it will not figure out e-commerce for you. This is just the payment side. Just know that. So accepting payments, you can either sell a product or accept donations. Either one is easy, but I think we really want to sell a product. That's what we're after right now. Give it a name, give it a description, enter the price, and then give it a product image if you want to. All of that allows you to create new products. Now, I've got several products already. Or most of them are tests, right? So a donation for Genius Beard LLC, Cryptocurrency 101, which I don't think I'm going to continue with at that price. So if you haven't already downloaded it, go and download it. <laughs> Uh, but then all through here, same same deal. That said, we don't need to make all of these products in order to start using Coinbase Commerce today. I told you I would show you how to do this without programming a single line of code, and I'm going to stick to that promise. Really quickly, here's the Shopify dashboard. Now, most people don't know about this product. And Shopify Lite, what it does is allows you to create an e-commerce inventory tracking system, not for $29, not for $150 a month, but for $9 a month. So this is the cheapest way to create an inventory system and start doing e-commerce by embedding product links into your website. What it doesn't include is the full builder. So you can sell on social media, in person, or with a website that you already own. But this is designed to help you integrate different payment solutions. Let me show you how this works. All you're gonna need to do is go into your Shopify dashboard Go all the way down to the lower left-hand corner where it says settings. Click on settings. And then right here, payment providers. I'm going to scroll down the list. And at the very top, Shopify Payments, of course, they're interested in selling you their solution, which is currently powered by Stripe. What is Stripe doing? Abandoning Bitcoin. They're abandoning cryptocurrency. Just remember that they might not be the right way to accept cryptocurrency. You can also use PayPal, of course. Really flexible. And between these two right here, you cover the majority of your clients, the majority of your future customers, but you don't cover cryptocurrency. Same with Amazon Pay. It's really simple, really flexible. A lot of people are using it. But then here under alternative payments, you've got a long list of options. So right here, I'm going to open that up. There's Dwala, BitPay, which is a very popular form of accepting cryptocurrency but we're not gonna go with BitPay today. We wanna to take advantage of this new platform, Coinbase Commerce, and it's on the list. I have already activated it right here, Coinbase Commerce. All I needed to do right here, I'll go under edit, was give them the email address that's associated with my Coinbase Commerce account, and then give them my Coinbase Commerce API key. You remember that, right? I had to create an API key under settings down here. All I needed to do was copy that, paste it over here, and then click save. But this is already active. I'm already prepared to accept cryptocurrency as payment. Pretty cool, right? So all I need to do is go here to my products, any products that I already have created. Ah, look at this, Cryptocurrency 101 book. This Cryptocurrency 101 book, I can embed into a website. So over here, sales channels, go to my buy button, select my product, Cryptocurrency 101 book, and I am prepared to accept cryptocurrency as payment if that's what people want. Once I generate that code, the embed code right there, I have full e-commerce capability that I can embed into any website. Now I also have guides here as to how I can embed that into Squarespace, Tumblr, WordPress, Wix, any other platform, any other competing platform with Shopify. I'm not tied into the Shopify ecosystem. And for $9 a month, I think it's worth it to be able to embed it into other websites. I have some other website building platforms that I prefer. So this helps simplify my life. Plus I have websites that are already published 
that I just don't want to have to deal with recreating on Shopify. So I can embed that into my website and I am done. Guys, what should I do a tutorial or what should I do a video on next? Did this actually help answer your questions about e-commerce and cryptocurrency? I hope so, because I think this is the easiest way to accept cryptocurrency today in exchange for products that you're trying to sell on your website. All right, guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the little bell icon if you're on YouTube in order to be notified of new videos as they come out. Love your face, and I will see you in the next one.